Hey everybody, so today just going to be looking at a really quick and simple movement for beginning to open up your hips and feel a bit more freedom of movement there. It's such a simple but a really deep exercise that you can do and it's uh, anyone can do this, it's a very sort of um, easy movement to do but if you sort of feel into it, take it slow and smooth it out the benefit for your hips can be fantastic. So, really simple position to start in with one foot forward and one foot back like this. And all you're going to be doing is learning to move and articulate from your hip socket there. And you've got the thing there, your inguinal crease, the bit where kind of your legs meet your upper body and torso. And all you're going to be doing, you can put your hand in there to feel it and what you're going to be doing is opening and closing in that area like this so you're opening that there keeping your nose and your belly button kind of in line so you're only moving from this part here that's kind of opening and closing feel what muscles you're using to do that and feel the quality of the movement there is it kind of juddery and stuttery or is it a nice smooth opening and closing you're not trying to go as far out as you can and really sort of stretch that just working on the quality of movement there in your hips at the same time you want to be really aware of what's going on with your knee down there a lot of the time you might find that what's actually happening is when you're moving around like this you're pulling your knee with you like that and it's kind of coming off the line with your toes so you really want to try and be aware of that when it's going on and to try and learn to differentiate the movement between your upper body and your lower body so that you can your leg and your hips and your torso can move independently so we want to try this on both sides and you'll probably find that one side is easier than the other um, and if for me when I was learning to do this my right leg was much more prone to coming in like that than the left leg was but doesn't it only takes a little bit of practice to sort of start to differentiate between those two movements and that can be amazing for your knees because then when you're turning in your day-to-day -day life, you're not always going to be pulling on the knee and putting a pressure and tension on the knee there. You'll be moving from those ball and socket joints at your hip. This movement is also uh, fantastic for actually building up your immune system. In those lines there in your inguinal crease, cre inguinal crease you have uh, lymph nodes and they are a key part of your immune system but they don't have their own pump to move the lymph around your body uh, and it's actually your movement like crush it like uh, massaging those nodes that helps to move that around your body and so these movements are yeah they are fantastic for that because they're literally doing that movement and massaging those lymph nodes and as you get better with it, at this and start to incorporate it into your daily life, which it will quite naturally start to become a part of your natural day-to-day -day movement, you'll find that it, as you're walking, you'll start to be moving from those creases, and so all of your movement will be helping boost your immune system, keeping you healthy and active. Cool. Thank you very much.